Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascending Dead Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. Okay, let's see here. A star seed, you're going to be having wish fulfillment. There may be some type of communication coming in to you about like a love offer. There are people that have been trying to block this communication from coming in to you for a long time. Now, how you're going to receive this communication, I don't know. But it may have something to do with the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands energy. Something that's going to enable you to take some type of new direction in life. Make new connections to people from your past. Maybe from a past life connection, not necessarily in this lifetime. And it's going to help you, you know... Uh, connect with people or remove yourself. Actually, I should say remove. Remove yourself from some type of toxic situation or toxic karmic cycle and, you know, step into your abundance. Maybe build a Ten of Pentacles or connect to a Ten of Pentacles where you will be very much valuable in that community. Um, but whatever this is, just know you're, it's going to be going in your favor. There may be something that belongs to you that has been being held back. You have people out here that have been trying to stop your Stop, block, destroy your security and things like that. Maybe they don't want you reaching your destination, having wish fulfillment, having a happy home, happy family. You're going to receive it. You're coming out of some type of illusion. People have been trying to cause illusions. Someone is still wishing to cause illusions about you. Uh, maybe it's to the person that wants to work with you, the person that wants to come connect with you, your twin flame, soulmate, higher level soulmate, whoever it is. Someone is still hoping to cause illusions about you. And this is to an emperor that sees you as wish fulfillment. Um, there could be an emperor wishing to communicate with you. And there are people trying to block him from communicating with you. Trust and rest assured that the universe is taking care of it. This is someone that sees you as his queen of cups. They see you, he's, he sees you as his queen of cups. So maybe you may not be exactly a queen of cups to everybody, but he sees you as his queen of cups. Um, this could be a king of pentacles in his emperor's energy. Um, someone is very smitten by you. They love your mental. They love your intellect. Uh, someone may be obsessed with you in a sense, but I don't know if it's something toxic. It could be just that he has a lot of feelings and desires for you, but someone is very smitten by you, wants to work with you. Um... Sees you as wish fulfillment. You could have a king of pentacles. Oh, dang. I was about to say going through some type of loss. There's a king of pentacles that's stuck right now in some type of situation as well. Maybe going through some type of loss. Or maybe he regrets the fact that he didn't make an offer to you. May have gone up against you with a community. Maybe he chose the wrong person. Maybe he gave his offer to an opposite queen of cups. Someone that's into dark magic, someone that lies and manipulates. Maybe she lied to him about something, miss, uh, maybe um, broke his trust or something like that. And maybe this relationship is over. This could be your emperor in his king of pentacles energy. And maybe he's going through some type of heartbreak as well. There is that possibility. So right now he may be at like a standstill because he's having to heal from this heartbreak, this setback, this betrayal. I don't know what this woman did. Maybe she was... Uh, Fooling around with other people, maybe tried to steal from him. I don't know what this is, but there's something about someone's trust being broken within a relationship. And maybe now he does not want to be with this woman. He does not want to have anything to do with her. Uh, he may be leaving her out in the cold just like she left him out in the cold. And he's very disappointed that he committed to this woman and now he's having to move on. Kind of start life all over again. So he may give this love thing another shot, but maybe it's going to be someone else or somewhere else. And this is the God's honest truth. Maybe he's coming towards you to tell you the truth about how he was manipulated into some type of situation. Uh, I don't know if you know who this is, but he may be aware of you. He may be coming in to give you some type of opportunity. Maybe this will help you move on with your life. Uh, help you maybe relocate as well. This man is very burdened. Dang very burdened um and there's another woman that's burdened as well like she's i don't know what the heck this is like 
this could have been someone that was attached to this masculine and maybe the fact that they're not going to be together anymore or something has been taken from her she's going to have to kind of start all over yeah they were in a relationship this relationship is over he's cutting his losses and moving on she's still trying to hold on she's burdened by this truth coming out she's burdened by the fact that she's exposed yeah this sister is exposed, okay? Um, there's a woman of high honor and there's a woman of high honor. So you could be the woman of high honor, someone with respect, very humble, down to earth, very mature, bring a lot to the table based off of your intellect and, you know, maybe your morals, your ethics and principles and things like that. And whereas this, this other person that he's leaving was a facade. Um, so there's some type of switch in dynamics that's going on where it says she's coming to an end and you are... Uh, embarking on this new journey of yours where you're start stepping into abundance in whatever way, shape, and form that is for you. It could just be you being happier, you being at peace. Uh, abundance doesn't always have to do with finances. It can just be with you being content within yourself, uh, having good friends and family members around you, maybe having a good job or something like that, just being fulfilled in life, okay? Um, but there's, there is a switch in uh in the in the dynamics that's going on here i don't even know if that's the right word to use the right terminology but there's a there's some type of switch going on it says she's falling down and you're getting up maybe someone was doing something behind the scenes the fact that she's burdened out here means that there's something she was doing behind the scenes to cause you burdens and stagnations more than likely to block this man from coming towards you um to give you an offer or so that he doesn't see you in some type of light um Maybe someone wanted a man to see you as like uh, beneath his status, not worth his time, uh, a poor investment. Or, I don't know what this is, but she's been causing a whole lot of illusions. She may have partnered up with other people as well to cause illusions to this man, right? Um, but regardless, he's choosing to go in the right direction because he's listening to his intuition. Someone is single now, wants to mingle, but he wants to mingle with the right kind of person. So this is someone that has gone through healing. He took the time to heal behind the scenes. Maybe nobody knew that or he just kept it to himself. But this is someone that's very content within himself now, maybe sending you some type of communication. Uh, he may be wanting to maybe start something with you or just kind of, you know, get to know who you are, have some type of get together. You two may meet accidentally. I don't know if this is going to be something where... You two are like planning or whatever this is. If he's been trying to communicate with you, there's been some type of hindrance. Maybe someone's been blocking it. They don't want you to have commit uh, commitment. Uh, but you are still going to have this communication coming in. Just rest assured. Um, I don't know what the heck this is because... I'm picking up on something where it's that people from different communities, even like someone from overseas or someone in a community that shouldn't even be in, like someone left community A and went to community B to have or form some type of alliance with people just to block two people from coming together or working together. It's something like that going on. But the whole, the truth is out. <laughs> the truth is out. You and this person will be partnering up together and moving on with your life. This has been a very long cycle, karmic cycle. And everybody is burdened about the truth being exposed, but the truth is out. It's out. Yeah, Star C, baby, it's time for you to go. It's time. The truth is out. People know who you are. This man knows who you are, maybe watching you. This is someone who's a Star C as well. This is an emperor. Who's a star seed? And he, he he sees you as a queen of cups. You may have a king of pentacles that wants to battle this man. He's looking at him like, mm, you don't stand no chance, sir. <laughs> Somebody's about to be married out here. Living a good life. Making a change in the world. Yeah. No more illusions. He's moving on. Yeah, he's moving on. He received some type of communication that's helping him move on. Maybe he was waiting to maybe he was waiting to hear something either about this Queen of Cups or his health or something. But he received that communication and he's moving on now with his life. Okay. Dang. He is moving on. I don't know what this woman did. I don't know what this woman did, but this man is moving on. No more manipulations is what I keep hearing. No more lies. That's 
something something about I can't believe something. I don't know what he can't believe, but yeah, he's moving on. Someone has done the work to heal behind the scenes. He may be going through a lot of emotions right now, may have a lot of emotions for you. He's very happy to, I don't know, they said to find you. So maybe someone has been looking for you. Baby, I don't know what this is, but this is going to be real interesting for whoever this story is for. Your love story is about to be very, very out of this world. Very special. Yeah. Very special. Because there's been a whole lot of people trying to block you two from coming together. And I don't even think you know. And Source is about to ease up right in there every day. <laughs> Meet on Tuesday. <laughs> Yeah. Whoever yeah, whoever this King of Pentacles is, this man is stuck in something really toxic. Going through financial like like someone is going through stagnations. I don't know if he tried to take something from you and he ended up losing everything, but I don't know what this is, baby, but something's been brought to an end for this man. He's trying to keep you stuck, trying to hold on to you, control something that has to do with you. And your ancestors are returning energy. They say, on site, we return energy on here. So this is about to be your future, sir. Bada bing, bada boom, ba boom. You and the people that collaborated with you. Dang. Someone can't... What I just heard is someone can't even come in and lie to you because they know you know the truth. Like what they were doing behind the scenes, they can't even come and lie to you. Because you're going to look at them like, uh, you do know how I know what you've been doing, right? And you're still coming in to tell more lies. They am I just supposed to pretend like the mask didn't fall off? You're still trying to walk around with a mask on. That mask, listen, the mask don't, come, don't came off holding his head down like, does she see me? Yeah, they see you up, oh, baby. Yeah, they've all been working in the cautious. Man, why are people this malicious? Why are people this malicious? Like, they want you out alone. Alone. Rejected. Unfulfilled. No one helping you. Nothing. Just miserable people that want other people to be miserable. But their wishes are not coming through because there's someone coming in to work with you. And someone is going to be very protective of you. Someone may have even been watching a story play out from afar and people don't know that. And when he comes into the story, they're going to try to interfere in some way, shape, or form. Get this man to turn on you or something like that. Or this could also be someone that's close by and you don't know it and he's not turning. Like he's putting an end to all this nonsense. What is this not man? What kind of what kind of immature stuff is this? Trying to steal from someone, block someone, just refusing to let go. You want to tell me you are? This is what you dedicated your lives to, not to go and start businesses, not to go and heal, not to go and get in happy relationships, nothing, not to find something good that makes you happy. No, we're going to go spend it being miserable and trying to make other people miserable. We're going to go spend it stealing. We're going to spend our lives stealing. And it's a no from the universe. They're fighting. Uh, uh, uh. mm -hmm. Listen, let me hurry up and get up out of here. Because these people's energy has been draining me for the past few weeks. And I don't got time. Listen, you see that right there? You're all, she's worried about going into poverty and that's your destination. Because that's what you manifested for yourself. You can't blame nobody else. That's your destination. Everything, every action you all take in life, every action people take in life is a consequence. And it don't matter who sees you, who does not see you. Just consider the earth like a big eye. Just an eyeball. And the universe is seeing everything. The ancestors, the spirit, they see, they see everything. So nothing you do in the dark or in the light goes unpunished. It's not even punishment, it's redirection. Sometimes it just depends on the level of redirection, the level of discipline. What did you do? Did you you tap someone, they tap you back. Did you stab someone, they stab you back. That's, 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 that's all it is. But nothing you do 
goes unnoticed. There are consequences for everything you do in life. And I don't care how in denial you are about it. There are people amongst you that already found that out. Talk to them about it. Nothing you do, in, I'm telling you, nothing you do in life are you ever going to get away with. Especially when it comes to trying to interfere with what God has destined. You're being disrespectful to God for once. Who the heck do you think you are? Telling the most high what should and should not be. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. I don't know who lied to a king of swords. Baby, you about to regret lying to that king of swords. I don't know if they lied to the police, to the justice department. You're about to regret lying to them. <laughs> yeah, there we go again. By judgment of the spirit realm, poverty is the road that lies ahead. You're all, everything you've all been trying to do to someone is being reflected back to you. Trying to take everything from someone is being taken from you. The person is very protected. They're very protected. Even the emperor that you are about to be fooling with, very protected. Very intellectual. Com a lot of common sense. Very gifted. You in balance. Don't got time for the BS. About to put you all to rest. <laughs> about to put you all to rest. There's another crooked emperor in here that's planning to trap a queen of wands have you out in the cold but your ancestors are on it baby they're on it people are wicked people are wicked cold-blooded and these are the kind of people when they're doing things they said i don't care make sure you have that same energy that same vibe when you're going through karma Make sure you you have that. Make sure the energy is persistent. That's what we're. That's all we're asking from you. You know that. Psh, I don't care. Make sure you do the same thing. Okay. When everything is taken from you, make sure you do the same sh shoulder shrug. Psh, I don't care. Okay. Okay. Make sure. That's all we're asking. That is all we're asking. These people are wishing to have you trapped, bound, stuck. In, they want you in a miserable relationship if you ever get in one. They don't want anyone being happy with you. They don't want you being happy with anyone. They say if you're going to get in a relationship, they want it to be a toxic one. A very toxic one. That's, that's what they said. Because for some reason, your life... Your life has so much to do with these people. They don't have a life without you. Everything in their life revolves around you. I, wh why are people disinvested in other people's lives? That's what I can't... I've been doing reading on these people for like months. And I still haven't been able to figure out why they're disinvested in other people's lives. I can't get it. Like I'm trying to figure it out. Money, jealous is still, it's not justifiable. I'm trying to imagine myself spending my time every day to stalk someone, block some. Are you freaking kidding me? Do you know, like, I got a million other things that I'd rather effing do than to be out here this committed to someone else's life. That's a lot of BS. That's a lot of BS. Listen, the ancestors said they're illuminating the truth about everybody. They don't care who. The grandbaby, the little cousin, two-year-old, five-year-old, the emperors, reverse, all the queens, reverse, masculines, reverse. They say everybody is getting exposed. All the illusions are being exposed. Could be a couple that's moving on. From this nonsense. They don't want to be collaborating with these people no more. Anyways, folks. i see you in my next read. Thank you for watching as always. Thank you for supporting the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. i see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.